video, Creating the Dancer's Body, is intended to assist you, the dance instructor, and particularly the jazz dance instructor, in training your students to be much stronger and much more technically proficient. Now, the way that we're going to do this is by adding to your warm-up advanced training techniques in the areas of muscular strength, muscular endurance, cardiovascular endurance, and flexibility. Now, I know... So I'd like to show you how I have sequenced my warm-up. There are basically five sequences, and each sequence plays a very significant role. Segment one of my warm-up is the execution of opening stretches. During the opening stretches, the dancer does start to elevate body temperature. I also use my opening stretches to move the torso in three directions or on three planes. The sagittal plane, which is front to back, the lateral plane, which is side to side, and the transverse plane, which involves twisting of the torso. The second segment is isolations. Isolation exercises help the dancer in skills of moving one body part at a time. And our the next segment in a dancer's training in the warm-up is the center bar. I can't stress enough how important and imperative this center bar is. It's just like doing a ballet bar, only you're standing in the center of the room and you don't have the bar to hold on to. Now the center bar is a place where a dancer will exercise all of their technique and this is where they gain strength, for muscular strength. It's, it's a strength training. Here we go, we're coming up one, two, take it out just to 90 would be fine. Then pulse twice and come on down to the side. One, two, this is nice and slow. Pulse twice. Good, we're working on that. So well. The next segment I add to my warm up is one that I don't think very many people do. It's for muscular endurance, and I can't tell you how valuable this is in a dancer's training. Muscular endurance is very different than muscular strength. First of all, muscular strength requires a muscle to, to lift something and come to failure. Good. We're curling the arms for the bicep. We're also working on the back attitude. Stay for three, back, front, back. Now the body should not rock. The body stays straight up and down. I'm gonna rock on this one just to show you what, this would be wrong. You can feel the contraction of the erector spinae and the stretch in the abdominal come down. And of course, you would do the other side. The next segment in the warm-up and the last segment is flexibility training. Now it's important to remember that whatever you contract, you end with a stretch. So let's take a lunge to the side and remember we just did our muscular endurance. We're going to take one arm across the body and hold it there. We really don't like to do it that much because it's uncomfortable. You've got to make sure the thigh is on the floor and not the knee. Bend your knee so you have your thigh on the floor. Take your front hand, come around and pull that leg towards you. Make sure it's your thigh on the floor, not your knee. I'm just come up straight up, and I'm going to bring in my front foot. Now, we want to have a little bit more strength in the glutes. So in, I add a little bit of strength training here for the glutes as I pick up my back leg. And we're going to lift in the abdominal, stretch it out, Ooh, you're really contracting in the back, in the erector spinae, to here. And I want to keep that in line as I stretch.